Hello everyone. I hope all of you will be fine at home. So we have to start with online classes. So this video session is for class 8 students. We will start with the chapter number 5 introduction to HTML. Two of the chapters are already completed and this is the third chapter. So first the introduction these are the some of the terms which you have already learned in the previous classes so just the revision so first i will explain you all these terms and then we will continue with the next topic so first topic here is internet internet means the interconnected network it is a network that connects millions of the computer across the globe so internet is not a single network but it is a network of networks The next definition is web server or in short we call it server. Individual computers is connected to a powerful computer program. These powerful computers are called server. They can store files in the form of websites. So actually all the websites are stored on the web server from where we can open the websites. The next term is world wide web. In short we call it www It is a series of servers. Or the other definition is it is a collection of all websites on the internet is called world wide web. So world wide web is a place or you can say it is a series of the servers which stores different types of the website. The next topic is website. Website consists of different web pages. So website is a collection of web pages. which are interconnected to each other the next is web page single page of a website is called web page it is written by using a special language that is html so web page is nothing but it is a file which is written by using a special language html so when we write a program in html when we save it then that file becomes a web page the next topic is html HTML means hypertext markup language. Ted Nelson introduced the word hypertext in 1960s. HTML is used to create web pages. Web pages are text documents. They have HTML commands with an extension HTML or HTML. Let me explain this. Means when you create a file, then when you save a file, you don't have to give only the file name. you have to give the file name along with the extension there are two extension that is htm or html you can use any one of these for example you want to save your file by giving the name 8 or class 8 so you have to save the file class 8. html html is used to convert ordinary text into hypertext it is a set of the special codes included to control the layout and appearance of the text so special commands have to be used in this for writing the html program what are those command and how we have to use it that will be explained to you later on in this topic html is character based methods to describe and express the content of the document this content may be in the form of pictures text sound etc it links the components of the document or documents together to compose compound document so in html we can include anything you can write down text you may have the pictures videos sound graphics and yes some special text may also be there that is known as hyperlink with the help of the hyperlink we can create a link from one document to another document by default hyperlink appears in blue color and underline and when we click on the hyperlink then then another information will display on the screen the next is features html features html documents are simple text files web browser is html formatters means the coding which you write down is just simple a text file text file format you have to write it down and the web browser will show you the formatted text so it is a html formatter now for example you want to change the background color you of the document or you want to change the text color you want to change the text size then all that formatting will be visible in the web browser 
compiling is not required in HTML document. It means generally the languages means like the high level languages program required compiler to convert the high level language program into machine language. But here no compiling is required. The program is directly executed. HTML is not case sensitive. It means the commands you can write down in capital letters or in small letters or by combining it. It does not make any difference. So the commands can be written in capital letters or in small letters. It does not make any difference. It is because it is not case sensitive. HTML documents are allowed to be viewed on any type of computer platform. Here it means that this HTML programs can be used on any operating system. Here the word platform is operating system. Either it is Windows, the different versions of the Windows, Linux, Unix, or any operating system, it can be used very easily. The next topic is create and view the HTML document. Now, if you want to create your HTML file and you want to view its output, then what you have to do? So, these, these tools are required to create and view HTML document. Number one, text editor. These are programs that are used to create or compose HTML documents. Notepad and WordPad are two examples of text editor. Means, actually we needed two programs. One is for writing the coding and the one for checking the output. For writing the coding, we either use that is the program which are used for writing the coding are known as text editor. And generally, we use this notepad for writing the coding. The next point is a web browser. This is used to view and display the HTML documents. Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, or Opera are few examples of the web browser. Now try to understand like this, the HTML coding which you have written in the notepad, now you want to check its output. For that purpose, we use this web browser. Any one of the web browser can be used as a sum of the names are given over here. Number three, an optional web server. It is required only if an HTML document has to be stored. Here it means has to be stored on the web server. Okay, means on the internet. Only then we need it. Otherwise, we need only two programs that is text editor and web browser. Now, assignment question students. Question number one, name some web browsers. Question number two, name some platforms where HTML can be used. Question number three, define web page, website, www, web server and internet. Thank you.